Hi, I love 3D printing and uh, I am a very happy user of the original Prusa i3 Mark III S printer without the multi multicolor modules because I do not really need the multi-filament module. The one color of the prints is full enough and I am really a huge, 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 huge fan of this device which is the magnetic steel sheet that you just put on the Prusa let it sit on the magnets. Amazing, really amazing stuff that solves a lot of problems. When I got my Prusa, which was like, I don't know, in the beginning of this year, the only option was to use the smooth pay sheets like this one I have over here. I tried to take care about my, my equipment and I was really taking care about this pay sheet a lot, but after more or less half a year of usage, there is a scratch over here, scratch over here, something deferred over here, and as general, the, the surface is not that smooth, does not work as great as it was working on the, in the beginning. When the Prusa announced that right now they do have a solid supply of the new steel sheet, not this flat pay sheet, but powder coated pay sheet I decided yeah gimme 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 because this is great and this is great and here it is side by side comparison of the smooth pay sheet with powder coated pay sheet after I don't know two weeks of using the powder coated pay sheet I definitely will not stop using this one because, yes, the powder coated pay sheet is uh, very cool when you are printing something bigger. Like, for example, this thing, which has at least a few inches square and sits really nicely on the print bed. And if you are using the powder coated, then after cooling down from 60, 70 degrees, you just hear this crack and you just take the part up. It works really great. There is absolutely no problem with the taking a model out of the pay sheet, the powder coated pay sheet after this, this thing cooled down. Amazing, 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 amazing. Really like it, it really works like it should be working. There is, however, a problem when you want to print something smaller la, or rather with a smaller surface area like this, this cup I was printing. The problem over here was not really the surface area of the of the element itself, which worked pretty nicely, uh, but the surface area of the support that had to be printed inside. I really had a lot of problems with keeping the support in place. I really had, was playing with the temperature, with the Z offset, really, 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 really. This part I had to print like, I don't know, four times just to get all the parameters right so the support was printed. Probably it would be just simpler to print it on the smooth pay sheet, but I, I had a new toy in form of this powder coated one, so decided to to really like to to learn to learn the, the stuff by usage. So after all good or bad before we go to that advice if you got yourself this one and you really do have problems with sticking of the PLA to the surface uh, heat this thing up to 70 degrees at 60 degrees I had much much worse first layer adhesion than at 70 degrees and then the separation after cooling down was just amazing but now is this worth 50 euros which is how much I paid for this yeah. To be honest, I'm not really 100%. It's really great and it's really fantastic when you are printing something bigger that really has enough surface area to nicely stick to this powder coated pay sheet. If, however, you are usually printing smaller things like, I don't know, some kind of details that really have very, very limited area or you are using a lot of supports on your everyday prints, then perhaps really this is not the sheet for you and perhaps you really should stick with the smooth one uh, and uh, yeah you know use the smooth one yes from time to time you will have to replace it even after every few months of uh, decent usage uh, but the PLA sticks so much better to the smooth one than to the powder coated one if however you are printing 
things that are, I don't know, at least four centimeters on the contact area and the, really the area is big enough for this thing to, to get the good adhesion, that this is really amazing. This is really amazing and really works great. Uh, maybe this this not so smooth, yeah, not so smooth as like porous uh, contact area. I'm not sure if I like it. I got used to the fact that the bottom side of all my prints, it's kind of like, you know, porous and then it looks like that. But yeah, yeah, makes sense, makes sense. So my advice, mm, for everyday use, when you really do not know what you will be using, this is better. This is better, uh, yes, okay, for different kinds of filaments, you have to use the stick, the glue stick or some kind of other separation layer. But if you are printing only with PLA and uh, you don't know if you're reprinting big one, big, big elements or small elements, that yeah, I think this is better. If you, however, are printing usually something slightly bigger and you are using this more or less like the, like the machine, to really print a lot and have no problems with the separation, then get yourself this one. Get yourself this one, it really works the best. Uh, after a few weeks there is not even a scratch on the surface of any kind, so really, really, really works great. Really works great, usually I will be using this one, uh, but definitely I will be keeping this at hand. Uh, the only the problem they are different they are different thickness uh, the the, poro, the the powder coated is like 0 0.4 millimeters thinner than this one so you have to adjust the z offset in the printer after changing the uh, the bed but besides that yeah it works it works really 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 pretty nicely so um, good stuff not for everyone and perhaps not for 50 euros. I will have to search for a Chinese replacement to verify if this is as good or as bad or, or whatever than the original. Uh, but uh, yeah, 50 is, I really think it's slightly, slightly, slightly too much. Okay, that's uh, all for today. Until the next one. Bye.